Hello everyone. I am Harshita Bhargav, Assistant Professor from Chitkara School of Hospitality and in this session we will going to learn about financial statement analysis and interpretation. And we would cover up the following contents here which are meaning of financial statements, types of financial statements, meaning of financial analysis and techniques of financial analysis. So let's start with what do we mean by financial statement. As we know that we have to follow certain principles, certain rules, certain assumptions and conventions to prepare, to prepare books of accounts. So financial statements are organized collection of data on the basis of these accounting principles and conventions. These statements disclose us the financial information of a business. These financial statements provide a summarized view of the books of accounts of any business or of an, a business enterprise. These statements depict us the financial position and soundness of a business. So this is the meaning of financial statement. Next is what are the types of financial statements. So there are four types of financial statements. Number one is income statement which is also known as profit and loss account. We have studied earlier that profit and loss account shows the expenses, incomes, losses and gains of a business enterprise. It is that only income statement or profit and loss account gives us a summarized view of revenues, expenses, gains and losses. Second statement is balance sheet. Balance sheet is also known as position statement. So balance sheet provides us a snapshot of the firm's financial position as it is known as position statement. And please note here that balance sheet is prepared on a specific date on a particular date which is the last date of a financial year. In India we know that our financial year starts on 1st April and ends on 31st March which means that 31st March is the date when we prepare our balance sheet and balance sheet depicts as the assets and liabilities of a business. Assets means all the property, possession, rights of a business and liabilities means all the legal obligations of a business towards other parties. So balance sheet provides a broader picture of assets and liabilities of a business on a specific date. So these are our two most important statements of any business income statement and balance sheet. Third type of statement is your statement of retained earnings. So this statement shows us the accumulated excess earnings of a business enterprise. Now here we have written that accumulated excess earnings. Excess earnings means earning over our expenses, over dividend and over losses. When we subtract all these losses, all these expenses and dividend payments from our total incomes, what we get is your retained earnings and the statement which shows retained earnings is called statement of retained earnings. Now fourth type of statement is statement of changes in financial position. As its second statement is balance sheet which is also known as position statement and fourth statement is talking about changes in financial position. That means to prepare these statements we need balance sheet. Then only we can see what are the changes in those balance sheets. The so first is cash flow statement and funds flow statement. For preparing cash flow statement we need balance sheet of two years. Similarly for preparing funds flow statement also we need balance sheet of two years or more than two. So cash flow statement summarizes all the cash inflows and cash outflows for a period of time. Cash inflows are the sources from where the funds are coming into the business and cash outflows are the payments for a certain period of time time. So all your incomes or your sources of funds and your cash payments would be shown here in cash flow statement. Second is your funds flow statement 
अंडर स्टेटमेंट ऑफ चेंजेस इन फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन फंड्स फ्लो स्टेटमेंट शोज अस दी सोर्सेज ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म फंड्स ऑफ दी बिजनेस ना शॉर्ट टर्म फंड्स आर दोज फंड्स विच आर टू बी यूज विद इन अयर वी हैव सेग्रीगेटेड फंड फंड्स इन वेरियस टेक्सोनॉमीज लाइक शॉर्ट टर्म फंड मिडल टर्म फंड एंड लॉन्ग टर्म फंड फंड फ्लो स्टेटमेंट टॉक्स अबाउट ओनली शॉर्ट टर्म फंड विच वी विल यूज विद इन अयर और दीज फंड आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज वर्किंग कैपिटल the funds flow statement shows us the sources as well as outflows of these short term funds or working capital so these are the four major types of financial statements which are again i am repeating for you income statement balance sheet statement of retained earnings and statement of changes in financial position third is financial analysis let's understand what do we mean by financial analysis when we analyze financial statements as the term financial analysis depicts is meaning itself that when we analyze our financial statements it means it is financial analysis more technically it is the process of identifying the financial strengths and weak points of a business with the help of financial statements with the help of financial statements you can identify where the strengths of the business lies or where the weaknesses of a business lies classification of data given in financial statements in order to present it in a simplified manner that means we would classify the data given in income statement or in balance sheet so as to know that what is the current position or current financial position of a business enterprise where it stands in terms of profitability so in other words financial analysis would depict the financial soundness profitability of the business now these are the techniques of financial analysis number 1 is comparative financial statements and number 2 is common size financial statements so as we can say that first technique is comparative financial statements that means we will compare financial statements and for that purpose we should have two or more financial statements to compare because we cannot compare a single financial statement with itself we need at least two financial statements for comparison and for this purpose we would prepare comparative profit and loss account and comparative balance sheet now these comparative financial statements helps to measure efficiency and financial soundness of the business second technique is common size financial statements under this technique we would take some common base and compare the items of the financial statement with that common base in the same way we would prepare common size profit and loss account and common size balance sheet under common size profit and loss account we would take total sales as the common base similarly under common size balance sheet we would take total assets or total liabilities as the common base and all the other items being given in the profit and loss account or balance sheet would be expressed in terms of these common base taken so this was about techniques of financial analysis thank you hello 